First look at a Google Pixel 3 ROM with Google Pixel 4 goodies based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at a Google Pixel 3 ROM with Google Pixel 4 goodies based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. So this is how the Google Pixel 3 ROM with Google Pixel 4 goodies comes out of the box. You do have a Google Pixel Lite wallpaper and if you swipe down you have your quick settings panel and you can also edit it. Next up we'll go into settings. Oh by the way did you have a look at those cool animations? So edit, click on the home button and those circular animations pretty dope pretty dope let's go into settings and then we'll go into apps and notification click on see all apps to see what all apps come baked in so you do have android auto and tutu benchmark was installed by me you have camera application this is your snapdragon camera however i will have a link to the google camera port which works best for this from in the description of this video you do have your data transfer tool which means you will have the initial setup and you can transfer your apps from your Google account to this new ROM. Then you have Google Keyboard as well. Geekbench was installed by me. You have Gmail application, Google News, Google Play Services. You have Pixel Launcher, Google Phone application, Google Messages, the new recording app from Google, which is supposed to be launched with Google Pixel 4. We have that already and new styles and wallpapers. These are all the major applications which come baked in now. When you install this ROM, I do suggest you go into default apps and make sure that all the default apps are set correctly. On initial setup, the caller ID and spam app was not set as phone, so make sure you set that up. Other than that, let us now go back into settings and look at the good stuff. So in battery, you do have the option of battery percentage and in display, you have this new option called styles and wallpapers. This is where you have the Google Pixel 4 goodness in the building you have three options at the bottom you have style clock and wallpaper we'll start with style so you have the option to choose between four styles you have default you have crayon you have collage and you have ash let's try collage and then click on apply the ui restarted and bam there it is we have the collage style on our xiaomi poco f1 going back into display and styles and wallpapers you can also create your own custom style if you want to like I do have one with my name here but we'll click on custom to the plus sign and now you can choose between all these fonts so you can choose between five different fonts once you've chosen a font you'll click on next and then you can choose between four different kind of icons so let's try this one and over here it is showing you how those icons will look and then you click on next and now you can choose between different colors so you can choose between eight different color options so let's choose the green one and then you can click on next and then you can choose between five different icon shape styles let's choose the one with the teardrop and then click on next now it wants us to name it so let's name it poco peeps and then you click on apply and bam so it is we have the poco peeps style in the building teardrop icons Working like a boss on the POCO F1, going back into settings and then styles and wallpapers. You can also change your clock style. So you can choose between four different clock styles. You have default and once you choose it, just click on apply. And now if we open the lock screen, this is how default looks like. We'll try the other styles as well and go into clock, try the bubble style, click on apply. Home button, lock it, bam, bubble style clock in the building. And similarly, you can choose the other two clock styles as well. You have analog and click on apply, lock the device and there it is, analog clock in the building. And you can also choose between pure text, click on apply, lock the device and bam, we have the text clock working like a boss. Then the next option you have in this styles and themes is wallpaper. Now here you can choose between different wallpapers. You do have wallpapers from the Google Pixel 3a baked in 
and if you scroll down all the way you have live wallpapers these are your new wallpapers from the google pixel 4 which are working like a boss and trust me they look pretty dope on the xiaomi poco f1 other than that you do have your normal options which come with android 10 so if you go into settings and then system and then gestures and then system navigation you do have your old school navigation bar you do have two button navigation from android 9.0 pi and you do have full screen android 10 gestures which also work absolutely fine on this build you do have different options for privacy the same applies for location different independent options in settings itself you do have digital well-being also baked in and if you go back into settings and then go back into display you do have system-wide dark theme which google added with android 10 and it is working absolutely fine applied to your quick settings and apply to your volume panel as well along with all the apps which support dark theme will be switched automatically over to dark theme if you click on advanced and display you do have the option of enabling or disabling double tap to wake which works absolutely fine there it is man this clock looks so awesome with this wallpaper other than that if you go back into settings you will see that in about phone your phone is showing up as google pixel 3 because this is a port from the google pixel 3 meant to be running on the xiaomi mi 8 but we got it running on the xiaomi poco f1 as well and if you look for the android version it is of course android 10 the kernel we are using is from the pixel experience android 10 rom as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which i got on this build and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you